video i will be explaining one application of determining centroids of lines and area there are two powerful theorems for determining the area of surfaces of revolution and for determining volume of volumes of revolution given by papas and galdinas we know that there are surfaces which can be obtained by revolving a line like this for a horizon this is a cone which can be obtained by revolving this line about this, this axis and similarly this cylinder hollow cylinder can be obtained by revolving this line about this axis for entire rotation one rotation that is 360 degree similarly if you revolve this arbitrary curve with respect to this axis about this axis for entire 360 degree you will be getting this type of surfaces in these type of surfaces area of these surfaces can be determined using first theorem of papas galdinas which states that the area of the surface of revolution is equal to the product of the distance through which the centroid of the line moves and the length of the line that is a is equal to 2 pi y bar into l where y bar is the distance of centroid of line from the reference line or that is center of uh, line of rotation and l is the length of the line which is rotated for example here this is the length of line and this is the center and its distance from the line of rotation from the axis of rotation is y bar and we know that if you revolve this line for 360 degree this point will revolve in a circular path and therefore we have uh, therefore the distance traveled by the center is equal to 2 pi into y bar si similarly here and here also in second papas galdinas theorem thus it states that the volume of the volume of revolution is equal to the product of the distance through which the centroid of the area moves and the area that is v is equal to 2 pi y bar 2 pi y bar is the distance traveled by the centroid of the area for one complete revolution and a is the area of Uh, revolution uh, the uh, area which is revolved for example this solid cone can be obtained by revolving this area this triangular area about its base for 360 degree if you revolve this triangle for 360 degree you will be getting this solid cone similarly this solid solid cylinder will be obtained by revolving this rectangular surface about this this base for 360 degree now if you revolve this rectangle about this axis axis again you will be getting a cylinder with a hole at its uh, at its center similarly you can sh take any arbitrary shape and if you revolve this entire area about this axis you will be get this solid solid object now here this is the center of this is the centroid of this area centroid of triangle we know that this distance is one third of this height so this centroid this distance is known by bar if you know this Uh, y bar you can obtain volume of this uh, cone using this relation where y bar is the distance of centroid from the axis of revolution and a is the area of this triangle similarly uh, here in all these cases by applying this equation you can determine volume of these objects let us now let us take one example where we need to determine the surface area of surface area of a truncated cone as shown in figure here the smaller radius is 20 larger radius is 40 and length of this truncated cone is 60 this cone can be obtained by revolving this slant line about this axis here this distance is 20 and this distance is 40 whatever is given here if you revolve all this uh, entire line for 360 degree about this axis you will be getting this surface so the area of this surface can be obtained using this relation which is given by papas galdinas 2 pi y bar where y bar is the distance of centroid of this line from axis of revolution so this is your axis of revolution from this axis of revolution distance of centroid you have to determine now you can easily determine this center now this point is at 20 height this is at 40 height and this point is middle of these two this line uh, middle point of this line therefore this point can be obtained by taking average of these two 20 plus 40 divided by 2 that is y1 plus y2 divided by 2 that is e equal to 30 now area uh, sorry length length of this line can be obtained from the pythagoras theorem you can draw one horizontal line here and one vertical line here so you will be getting one right angle triangle so base of this right angle triangle is 60 
and height of this right angle triangle is 40 minus 20 that, that is 20 so by using this relation you will be getting length of this line this inclined line that is uh, you are getting now 63.25 now put this value of L and this Y bar L and Y bar and you will be getting final value of area this surface area is equal to 11,728 now second example problem in this you have to determine volume of the hollow cylinder as shown in figure now this is the rectangle where this distance is given 5 and this distance is given 15 so you can see that this thickness is 15 minus 5 that is 10 and length of this rectangle is given 30 again if you want to determine volume you have to replace area by volume in last equation here it was area so that is replaced by volume and in last equation it was length so it is replaced by area other quantities are same now you have to determine y bar y bar is the distance of this rectangle the distance of centroid of this rectangle from axis of revolution so from axis of revolution this distance is y bar this you have to calculate this you can calculate directly that is 15 plus 5 divided by 2 that is 10 similarly area of this rectangle it is very simple that is 30 into this thickness thickness is 10 so 10 into 30 you will be getting 300 now area you have obtained y bar also you all obtained now put these two values here in, in so that you can get volume of this solid cylinder hollow cylinder thank you for watching this video